Ever wondered what makes lo-fi music so relaxing? Well, let's dive a little deeper into the phenomenon that is lo-fi. Lo-fi, short for low fidelity, is a genre of music that's all about embracing the imperfections. Instead of aiming for the polished sound of high fidelity or hi-fi production, lo-fi revels in the rough and raw. Think of it as an audio equivalent of a vintage grainy photograph. Lo-fi is a sub-genre of electronic music, but it doesn't stop there. It weaves together elements of house, jazz, easy listening, and hip-hop beats all under a do-it-yourself aesthetic. There's a certain charm to the homemade quality of these tracks, a sense of authenticity that you don't get with meticulously produced pieces. The result is a dreamy, relaxed sound that feels both nostalgic and fresh at the same time. It's the kind of music that's perfect for studying, chilling, or simply unwinding after a long day. So next time you're chilling to some lo-fi tunes, remember that you're actually appreciating the beauty of imperfection. But how did this genre come about, you may ask? Well, let's journey back in time to the year 2013. This was the year when the contemporary lo-fi music scene truly began to take shape, thanks to the advent of live stream channels on YouTube. Artists of this emerging genre began curating lo-fi playlists on YouTube and other streaming platforms, drawing inspiration from the soulful beats of chill-hop pioneer Nujabes and the innovative rhythms of hip-hop craftsman Jay Dilla. The soundtrack Nujabes created for the 2004 animated series Samurai Champloo served as a pivotal point in this history, creating a lasting connection between lo-fi and anime. This association is still evident today, with many lo-fi live streams incorporating elements of Japanese animation into their visual aesthetic. As we move forward to 2015, we encounter a YouTube channel that played a significant role in the lo-fi movement, Chilled Cow. This channel, later known as Lofi Girl, became a sort of lo-fi hip-hop radio station broadcasting a continuous live stream. By 2017, it had broadcast for nearly 13,000 hours to a whopping 7.5 million subscribers. It's clear from this that lo-fi music was rapidly finding its place in the hearts of many listeners around the globe. But it's not just about the numbers. The rise of lo-fi music represents a shift in the musical landscape. It's a movement that celebrates the imperfect, the homemade, and the nostalgic. It's a genre that doesn't shy away from misplayed notes or environmental interference, but instead embraces these elements as part of its unique charm. Lo-fi music has come a long way since its humble beginnings, and it continues to evolve. Its history is a testament to the power of authenticity and the appeal of a more relaxed retro sound. It's a genre that's made its mark in the world of music, and its influence shows no signs of waning. So what exactly sets lo-fi music apart? It's all in the key characteristics that define the lo-fi sound. Let's delve into these a bit more, shall we? Firstly, we have the use of drum loops. Just like in hip-hop, lo-fi extensively employs drum loops to form its rhythms. Both electronically produced samples and live recordings of drums are used in lo-fi. However, beatmakers often favor live elements because they're easier to manipulate with a digital audio workshop or DAW. The beats are typically in the low to mid-tempo range around 70 to 90 beats per minute, contributing to the laid-back, relaxed vibe that lo-fi music is known for. Next up, we have jazz chords. Jazz chord progressions are a significant element in most lo-fi songs for their relaxed, contemplative quality. Samples of rhythm, bass, drums, and piano are prevalent in the genre. But lo-fi artists don't stop there. Depending on the composition, they might also incorporate horns and guitar, adding layers of complexity and richness to the sound. Lastly, we cannot overlook the role of samples in lo-fi music. Though lo-fi is typically instrumental, many tracks feature samples and other effects to support the music. Vocal samples are not uncommon, with many drawing from anime to emphasize the connection between the two mediums. The crackle of a vinyl record is also frequently employed, suggesting the warmth and nostalgia of an analog recording. These elements, the drum loops, jazz chords, and samples aren't just randomly thrown together. They're carefully curated and combined to create that distinctly relaxing and nostalgic feel of lo-fi music. This, in essence, is the magic of lo-fi. The imperfections, the warmth, the nostalgia, all contribute to this genre's unique charm. These elements, when combined, create the unique and soothing sound of lo-fi music that we all love. Now that we know what lo-fi music is, who are the artists pushing this genre forward? Let's start with chill-hop music. 
Hailing from the Netherlands, chill-hop music has been a significant contributor to the lo-fi genre. Their relaxed, jazzy beats have helped define the signature sound of lo-fi, and their commitment to the genre's DIY aesthetic is evident in their unique and creative compositions. Next, we have Chilled Cow. This French artist, also known as Dimitri, gained enormous popularity with his YouTube channel. Chilled Cow's lo-fi beats have been streamed for nearly 13,000 hours, reaching an audience of 7.5 million subscribers. This level of dedication and reach has undeniably had a massive impact on the genre's growth and popularity. Then there's college music. This artist duo made up of UK residents Luke Pritchard and Johnny Laxton launched their project in 2013 when they were just 13 years old. Their youthful perspective and fresh take on lo-fi music have brought a new dimension to the genre, demonstrating its potential for innovation and evolution. Lastly, let's talk about Palfu. This Canadian artist, also known as Isaiah Faber, has made significant strides in lo-fi. His music, characterized by its soothing beats and thoughtful lyrics, has garnered a loyal following, further cementing lo-fi's place in the music scene. These artists, among many others, continue to shape the lo-fi genre, bringing us the relaxing beats that help us study, work, and unwind. Their contributions to the genre have not only helped define its sound, but have also inspired countless other artists to explore the possibilities of lo-fi music. Each artist brings a unique perspective and style to the genre, ensuring that the world of lo-fi music continues to grow and evolve. These artists, among many others, continue to shape the lo-fi genre, bringing us the relaxing beats that help us study, work, and unwind. To wrap up our lo-fi journey, let's take a moment to reflect on the unique sonic tapestry we've explored. Lo-fi, with its roots in the do-it-yourself ethos of punk, indie rock, and hip-hop, is a testament to the beauty of imperfections. Its low-fidelity sound, characterized by audible glitches and background noise, offers a distinctive and authentic listening experience. Historically, the rise of lo-fi can be traced back to the emergence of live stream channels on YouTube around 2013. The genre has grown, drawing inspiration from pioneers like Nujabis and Jay Dilla, and it has found a home in the hearts of millions of listeners worldwide. The key characteristics of lo-fi music, including rhythmic drum loops, soulful jazz chords, and the creative use of samples, contribute to its relaxed and thoughtful quality. Notable artists like Chill Hop Music, Chilled Cow, College Music, and Paofu have been instrumental in shaping the genre and introducing it to wider audiences. So, whether you're studying, relaxing, or just enjoying some downtime, Remember the rich history and distinctive characteristics that make lo-fi music the perfect soundtrack for your day.